Salutations, good people. It's Melissa here, back with another video. Welcome, welcome in. Welcome back to the awesomeness. Today's video is a tag. I wasn't tagged, but I felt this deeply because I actually finally filmed a tutorial with Glasses Girl Makeup. This is a tag that was started by Abby Williamson, Williamson, and Spooky Lips and Fat Hips, aka Lacey. So this is the Wearing Makeup and Glasses tag, and... I'm just going, I'm totally doing this. I've been wearing glasses for ages. Yes, this spoke to me. This is like the first tag that really got me. So there was 11 original questions. I'm going to try to remember to link Abby's video and Lacey's video somewhere up there or down in the description box. Okay, okay. So let's jump into this. There were originally 11 questions that they did. I added like met questions possibly just like some comments or some misconceptions or misnomers about bespectacle makeup loving aficionados so here we go question one is nearsighted or farsighted I'm actually I have an astigmatism in both eye last I checked and I have to get new glasses I will talk about how old these are in a minute Last I checked, I had an astigmatism still negative 365 in each eye. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. So, yeah. I need bo boy. I need bifocals. So, I have to get bifocals soon. That's going to be my Christmas present to myself. I have three Christmas presents. I already purchased one. And glasses are second, and the third item will be <laughs> coming soon <laughs> once I get my paycheck. So, yeah, glasses is present number two. Question number two, how often do you wear glasses every damn day? I have to wear glasses every damn day. Can't see without them. All my jobs, plural, I have to look at fine print, small print, um computer screens in the hospital I have double computer screens I have monitors I have to look at so I have to wear glasses every dang day that just how it be question number three how long have you been wearing glasses since I was eight years old I do not have a photo handy but since I was eight and I'll tell you a quick story my mommy took me to America's Best in Rockville, Maryland. That was one of the first locations in my town, um, in my area. And I got these little round glasses and I wore those for a couple years. A second pair of glasses. My grandma took me to Lens Crafter that was near the Social Security Benefits Office, Old School Circuit City, Checkers, the walk-in checkers. It wasn't a drive through You had to walk into it to go like order up at the window and go in to eat. There was a Lens Crafters right there, Wheaton Plaza, close to where the Hex was. They built a Wendy's over there now, but that's neither here nor there, whatever. <laughs> My grandma took me to Lens Crafter. I wore those glasses for eight years until I got these, and I've had these almost years. <laughs> It's bad. I've only had three pairs of glasses my entire life. Well, four. But in the last 20 years. That's bad. That's bad. Question number four. Have you ever been teased for wearing glasses? No. Uh, no. No one ever teased me. They teased me for being tall. They teased me for being chubby. They teased me for being sensitive. They teased me for being into you know Shakespeare when I was in fourth grade I got teased for like random stuff never about my glasses so many kids wore glasses so it wasn't a thing that oh four eyes meh, 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 meh. no it wasn't like that question five have you ever debated getting Lasix and or and expand on your relationship with glasses well I'm not a candidate for Lasix surgery I asked about it because I wanted to you know, night driving, and also I have really good peripheral vision. Like if you see me like looking, I can see quite well, all like almost behind me when I look, almost behind me. But 
I it's it's worth it's something to be worried about even day driving <laughs> it's something to be worried about I don't have a car so right now it's uber bus and car pulling with friends and co-workers so right now I don't have to worry about that but Lasix I'm not a candidate for it they said that how my eye or my lens and cornea and everything I just wouldn't be a, a candidate for it. I can't remember I don't have that medical you know you get your this is the summary of your visit type of sheet that you get from the doctor's office it's somewhere around my junkie bedroom don't know where it is right now but the gist of it was I can't have LASIK surgery and you know what I don't want it because I don't want anything near my eyeball like that just freaks me out and ugh, it's one of the reasons why I don't wear contacts I don't like touching my eyeball side note when I had conjunctivitis aka pink eye as a small child a couple of times because kids are gross my mom my grandma my sister my uncle Robert had to hold me my mom had to put me in a headlock and then hold me to put the salve the antibiotic ointment and eye drops in my eye because I never liked anything touching my eye when I get my eye test when they do the the glaucoma like that test and they blow that puff of air in your chest I always flinch and I close my eye. I hate it to this day I don't like anything near my eye I don't like anything touching my eye I just don't like it it just gross me out you see some people like touch their eye and like those like uh, 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 uh. stop it it's gross it's gross it's gross Ugh. question number six how many pairs of glasses do you have and wear regularly these two I own two I got these ooh, oh my gosh it's almost 10 years ago this month in December so I own these glasses I've worn these in some videos and I wear these most regularly I like these rectangular frames when I get um, these frames were free what is it the three places I've gotten glasses America's Best Lens Crafter and Eyeglass World my, my, fr my frames were free I paid a hefty sum two hundred dollars out of pocket for my lenses if you can see my lens are very thick um, with these glasses they actually stick out the frames that's how thick my lenses are um, I didn't want to pay for those progressive like super super deep like sleek lenses I'm like no so I like these glasses I'm probably gonna get two pairs that are very similar to these or just slightly bigger I like the rectangle um, I feel like they're flatter my round face uh, when I'm thinner thinner or when I do not have as much weight on me my face is more oval than round and I feel like this would flatter either shape round or oval so I like these my sister picked my glasses out for me because she's good at it best mascara question number seven I swore by for the longest time the Wettenwald it was this one I have it in my drawer it's the wet n wild lash matic it's the this mascara if they sold this as a single and wet n wild wasn't like in murky waters about their cruelty free status I own two of these I've gone through four tubes bomb I also enjoy my buxom uh, mascara that's really good as well so I'm wearing buxom today so there you go I find it's really good I enjoy it those are the two I'm not once I use that up from wet and wild that's it I everybody keeps talking about this essence lash princess I work part-time at Ulta there's like this huge tub of it in front of me and I'm just going, if I keep talking about this, I should give this a shot. If it, is, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Eh. False lashes. Yes or no? No! Nay. The nays have it. No. No to false. To falsies. I, I will link the video, my mini makeup declutter. I decluttered all the false lashes in my collection because I don't like lashes. When I push my glasses closer to my face, even my well fanned out and coated lashes with mascara push, but not painfully. False lashes, when I push my glasses up, you know, the bridge of my nose, 
Oh, sweet baby back ribs. It is just a very, very uncomfortable feeling. And I just don't like it whatsoever. And they can kick rocks and suck gravel. I'm not doing it. Unless I get like those individuals or lash lift or lash extensions. But I don't, again, I don't like anything near my eye. Ugh. It took me years to use mascara again after that one accident when I bought a small tube of Jane mascara from CVS and Kit Mill. And I poked myself in the eye with it and I had a huge glob of mascara goo on the white of my eye and my grandma being the nurse irrigating my eye holding it open and like throwing water and like gently removing the actual mascara off my eyeball it took me over a decade to use mascara again I was a kid I had no business using it but still traumatizing Question number nine, best base product for minimal transfer that you've experienced. It's not cruelty free, but one of the best was the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Dang, it was good. Same with another one that was not cruelty free, um, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. They don't make it anymore, so that's not a problem. I'm not buying it because I'm also, but oh, I did wear these glasses when I still had my Bare Minerals. The Bare Minerals powder, like the Swirl Tap Buff. That actually was not very bad. Um, a little trick, I don't put much foundation on my nose. I do put foundation on my nose. And I mostly, I've had done a couple get ready with me where I did my base. I do put a few like drizzles and dots of foundation on my face. Then I spread it and like spread it around. But um, I don't put much on my nose. And if I do, I take my little powder puff and I definitely like powder it down to get it to be a little bit more minimal for this transfer. Um, I used to have the glasses that had the pads, uh, wire glasses. One of the reasons I have like really bad bumps and acne here because I was allergic to the nickel in my wire glasses and the pads. So I actually have like scars from my skin reacting to that. But since having, these are plastic frames. Since having plastic frames, I've had no problem and I barely get transfer from this is what is it I'm testing out a foundation this is a another this is I got a sample of Urban Decay's not to stay naked because I took that back but this one was their all-nighter um, foundation and so I'm just testing it out like I got a sample and I'm just testing it out just to see how it I feel about it but I'm going back to Bare Minerals hands down swirl tap buff I'm going back to that that was easy plus I'm oily Question number 11, what is one misconception people have about, misconception people have about wearing glasses and makeup? Ooh, that we shouldn't wear it or you can't wear color. It's probably one of the s same tips that I think Lacey and Abby gave where, you know, you can't wear bold eye looks or you can't do this, that or the other. And all this jazz. Um, I think it's, you know, a lot of them say, oh, well, your frames can overpower your look. And the color of your frames can do this. And this can do this. So they're just, they're just going, the bigger the frames, the more eye makeup or not. The smaller the frames, the lighter your makeup. I'm just going, who is anybody, any magazine, any style? blog and I'm not knocking anybody for style blog or magazine for giving information I printed out the questions y'all because I was like super excited uh, that wears glasses you can wear as little or as much makeup eye makeup as you want as you can see I went full tilt boogie crazy using my summer and Saint Tropez palette BH cosmetics palette I went ham. It's one of my favorite things. I went ham, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. I went full BLT. With my, I love going ham on my makeup looks. It's just fun. I, I think it's it's mostly we should wear muted makeup and maybe a good um, liner and taupe. 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 Taupe on me is not visible 
Tope is barely visible. That's all I'm saying. Did they not take into account melanated people wear glasses too? When they write these little tips and do's and don'ts for makeup tricks. This is not tan, brown, and deep friendly. Like, who? Just get out of here. Question number 11. This is the last question that Lacey and Abby compiled. Tricks, trick or tricks for making your makeup more visible behind frames. Bright. Again, your girl loves a neutral moment. I will, I always leave my Instagram handle down in the drop box and on my little makeshift end card. Scroll through my Instagram, you will see some neutral ass looks on my eye and then you will see some blown out, very bright looks on my eye. What is it? I think my picture for Insta Instagram and here is one of my favorite looks where it's like super bright neon pink and purple and gunmetal gray and black lipstick. I feel wear it. I mean, if it doesn't look that good, my frames block out most of it. And you can tell if I'm fully blended or not. I am fully blended because I took my sweet, sweet, sweet time blending my eye look today. Ooh, trick colored liner. Break out of eye, like I've mentioned in several videos, I was told I'm a neutral girl living in a neutral world and I should just wear neutrals, including just stark jet black eyeliner. That worked for my mommy monster. It works for a lot of people. And it works for me, but I found it not didn't make my eye smaller, but there's just so much variety. Um, there's a picture up on my Instagram. I have on yellow eyeliner. I, I wear purple eyeliner because one purple is my favorite color. Oof, I'm blurry. So, this is how I look today in purple eyeliner. And I smoked out my lower lash line. Play with the makeup. I like, I do put um, my lashes. I have nice fluffy lashes. They just, all the fallout from shadow and they're lighter in color and hue. So coating a few times with like a deep dark brown or a black mascara definitely helps amp up the look. Uh, smudging green eyeliner blue like I just have a drawer full of colorful eyeliners that I'm looking at right now I keep greens yellows purples and blues and then dark browns in my everyday makeup bag that I take with me to work and it's just great and I love that type of thing so yeah that's the original 11 questions from Abby and Lacey so these are just a couple of little assumptions and things I'm just gonna throw out there question 12 glasses um, it's not really question 12 this is just little my little blurb at my little thoughts here so glasses fog up and heat cold or when it's hot or when <laughs> or sweat makes the you know glasses slip down rain sleet snow you know, coats your glasses. That's always great. You know, like, uh, these are just some, like, minor, I guess, cons. They're really not cons. It's just, it, it's part of the bargain. Another thing is keeping them clean. Constantly cleaning your glasses. I constantly clean my, I just clean them and they're dirty. I cleaned them not even two hours ago and they're smudgy already. There's no mascara, there is no makeup on my lenses, which is a wonderful thing. But it's just, you know, environment stuff. I work in a hospital, so yeah, you know, glasses. Sometimes eating or drinking something hot, your glasses fog up, especially if you're taking a sip of like a big warm, like hot mug of tea. I'm a tea drinker or, you know, warm cider. If you want to be like that, you know autismal winter solstice basic bash you know oh my god pumpkin lattes pumpkin spice lattes ah, and uh, boots ah. no I'm cool um, but you know when you drink or eat something hot sometimes your glasses will fog up it's part of the you know 
part of the deal, you know, it's just part of it. Ooh, sometimes kissing and making out. I remember when I was with my ex and uh, we had just saw a movie. We were walking outside and it was a September day, night, pardon me. And he was like, I'd like to kiss you, Melissa. I was like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, okay, sure. And so he did. And sometimes the placement of, oh, my glasses are smudged. My glasses fogged up in the midst of kissing, so I had to take my glasses off, hold it with one hand, put my hand on his back while he was kissing me. And I was just going, because every time you kiss me with my glasses, I you know, push my glasses up to my face, like further up my face. So it's ridiculous. It was it was fun, though. I mean, it's good old-fashioned fun. People talk about frame color, has a cosmetic effect, yada, yada, yada. I made notes, so don't mind me. You know, and they said sometimes, you know, if you're farsighted, nearsighted, wear progressive or multifocal lens, I'm going to have to get the bifocals. I really think it's so ridiculous. Look, there's so many, like, people go, prep your face for all day wear. I prep my face for all day wear regardless. I'm oily. Use eye cream and concealer. Yes, but I don't put concealer directly under my eyes. I've always had those, when you're little, when you're five, those little cute little crinkles around your eyes when you're laughing, being all joyous and a child, it's adorable. Those little crinkles underneath your eye when you pass five, not so adorable, okay? So I don't like super drying concealer under my eyes. He likes, I like something a little bit, even though I'm oily, a little bit more emollient and moisturizing under the eye and it's just a few dabs not like those huge pizza slices that some booty gurus put on their face and I'm not judging anybody you want to do it you do it you like doing it knock yourself out go about it but they look up there looking like Alice Cooper shellacking it on but you know what the finished product is gorgeous it's just it just looks so much but you know I've done my makeup and my friends are like, that's a lot, Melissa. That's a lot. I'm going, yeah. Ooh, another trick. And I think Abby mentioned this. Emphasize the brow. Like, definitely emphasize your brows. My sister always talks about me because my brows are very... My brows have been the exact same since I've been an infant. Since I've been born into this world. My mother gave birth to me. My eyebrows have been the exact same shape and color. Like, they just do not change in my for decades of life like nothing they've just said the thing this is actually tinted brow gel and a little bit of pencil in my brow I'm thinking since I work in Ulta I think I may get my brows tinted so I'm I'm excited for that I want to get them tinted and I I'm looking forward to it so you know that's that. Uh, let's see a few more things. I think misnomers about people wearing glasses when people go like, "How many fingers am I holding up?" You know, <laughs> you're just like that. That's you know when you take your glasses off. People constantly ask me how many fingers. You know, I'm just going. They should be far smarter than what they're doing right about now. Asking how many fingers do you see? How many fingers do you see? Dude. I can still make out that you're holding up your hand and you're doing this. Like, get together. <sighs> I don't have that problem of trying to put my sunglasses over my regular glasses, but some people do. But then just get prescription sunglasses, which my sister did, and that's probably what I'm going to do when I get my own car. I loathe contacts. I will not wear contacts. No. No. Oh, when it rains, it it. When it rains, it pours, and man, your glasses just get covered with water. When I was doing my clinicals, um, when I was in the phlebotomy program, I was at this di uh, at the diagnostic center at the hospital doing my sticks and seeing all the patients and everything, and it was like just 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and the sky just was like brown gray, like you knew a big old storm was getting ready to come. And my preceptors and the supervisor were like, yeah, why don't you guys just go ahead and skedaddle. Like, go ahead and go, because before the storm hits. Y'all, I didn't make it out. We didn't make it outside more than three minutes. And I had to walk across the street to go to my other job, my main job that I work now at the main hospital. The hospitals are right across the street from each other. Well, there's a huge gap 
between them, but it's a it's a it's a brief walk, brief when it's not sheet raining. Rain and the wind were so hard it whipped my glasses and blew them to twenty feet away from me. So in the sheet rain, I can't see, let alone my glasses are in a mud puddle. I just want to share that. Just sometimes the struggle is real. Ooh, another thing is people think you wear glasses for a look because hipsters and young millennials and people that want to be in style wear fake glasses with either just clear non-medicated prescription lenses or no lens whatsoever. No, I need these to see so I don't hurt myself or anybody else and see what I'm doing. And another thing is like struggling to find a good frame for yourself. That's that's also like one of the things that I wrote down to. Like it's difficult. I made a whole bunch of notes. Um, I don't know if this is question twelve. Ooh. I guess it's just a comment like watching TV and then laying down trying to watch it with your glasses and your class is going all cattywampus. It's just it's interesting how to do it, and again the whole kissing someone with glasses is never as sexy as it is in TV shows and movies. Um, when you have your glasses on, you're just going, "What in Bob's burgers is this?" I re I immediately regret my choices right now. But yeah, oh I did this in under half an hour. I'm kind of proud of myself. Hot naked dog. So, I did not, I was like, I want to do this tag because I've been wearing glasses pretty much over half my life. The majority of my life. I started wearing glasses not even the first decade, of, like the first, the first decade of my life I've been wearing glasses. So, it's really a third of my life. So, yeah. I want to do this. Thank you, Abby Williamson and Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips for creating the tag. Again, I'm going to, I will link their videos up there and down there in the description box. Check them out. If you are a glasses wearer and you enjoy makeup and you have a YouTube channel or Instagram. I think this is a, a free for all tag. So you're all it if you want to participate. Uh, enjoy. I enjoyed this immensely because it's great. I'm, I, I've pre-filmed a lot of stuff and no, I'm not doing vlogmas or anything like that. Not. Kudos to those that do, who are doing it. I'm not doing that, but I am happy that I have filmed quite a few videos and I've got them set. I'm like, yeah, because I work three jobs. I'm like, where am I going to fit all this in? So I did it. It's good. I don't know when the little tutorial for the eye look for glasses, like for fun makeup. I did one for neutral makeup uh, for my friend Belle, so I did a neutral city look. So I'm going to do a fun look with glasses and show, I do have some color mascaras, they don't really work, but I'm thinking if I can get a little bit of white concealer of my e.l.f. concealer on my lashes a little bit and kind of prime them a little, that I can get the purple to like show up or the blue to show up. So that's a plan. But in the tutorial or the get ready with me, you will see the fun look. So it'll be coming up sometime this month. I will upload it, Lord willing, that I remember. <laughs> Anywho, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. But if you could please just do me a solid and please take care of yourself, take care of one another. Let somebody know that you haven't seen in a while, that you're thinking about them. Also, I implore you to please make smart choices. You will thank, be thankful that you did. Thank yourself. Thank your styles. Thank that bowl of banana pudding. Just be thankful that you would make the right choices. And also, peace easy. I will see you guys in the next video. Boom. Here is my Instagram handle at the bottom. Please check it out to see all those fun looks and everything like that. I will catch you guys in the next video. Be safe. Be well. Bye.